If you came for the results, here you go. However, I'll explain these later in the video along with the process. Got this car here. We're gonna see how quiet we can make it. Cause the quieter we can make it uh, around here, the more we can drive it. Cause uh, people don't get mad at the noise. We're gonna do that a couple ways. Number one, change the muffler. On top of that, we gotta tackle the noise coming from the chain, clutch, the engine itself, all that drive chain components. And to do that, we'll build a basically enclosure around the motor using a quarter inch birch like this. Around the birch, we're gonna have soundproof material, triple layer system. We'll start with butyl rubber. Sometimes a lot of people call it Dynamat. It doesn't do much for airborne noise. It's soft rubber, takes those vibrations, turns it into heat and reduces road noise. After the butyl rubber, we have closed cell phone. This basically decouples the enclosure from what really is gonna stop the main noise and that's the mass load of vinyl. This stuff is quite dense, and uh, when it comes to blocking sound, density is king. So this roll right here weighs about 40 pounds. That is the plan. Hopefully, we get it quiet. Enough where you can sneak up on people. Well, that, would, that would be pretty cool. I screwed up, and I cut the wood a little small. Can't cover the engine, and this is the only wood I got. We're gonna use this metal rod as uh, the skeleton for the mass loaded vinyl. We got our two hoops that will weld in to here. Make a little frame for the mass loaded vinyl. We're here in the University of Washington parking lot. Okay, we're gonna test idle first and then we'll do a speed run. That was atrocious. We'll just do a pass run. I mean, who really cares about idle? I just sell this little guy for accurate GPS. I'm just gonna stick it to the front here. We'll go from this to this block of wood. Now that we watched the runs, let's look at the setup, go over the results. Here is the setup we have in the parking lot. As you can see, 120, there we go. 120 foot run. Now the decimal meter was 50 feet away from those runs. That's where we're taking the readings. Or those averages were about three runs each. We got a one mile per hour difference between the stock exhaust and the open header. That was probably just due to the better breathability. And I think you could further increase that gap if you added a larger jet and a better air filter because you could really take advantage of that flow. Now, the enclosure was quite a bit slower. Either dragging on the ground or the air being pulled into the engine was quite warm because it was inside that enclosure. So I think that really contributed to it. Going over the sound, it gets a little tricky. So it sounds on the a logarithmic scale, decibels. What we're really after is uh, loudness perception because at the end of the day, that's what matters for these go-karts. General rule, if we decrease the decibels by 10, about half the perceived loudness. Between the enclosure and the stock exhaust, there really wasn't much of a difference. This is probably due to the fact that the frame is metal, there's no isolation, so any sound within that enclosure is just gonna be reverberated through the frame and out to whoever's hearing it, as well as the fact that a lot of the sounds just come from the exhaust. In the future, I would like to add that silencer and not use grill tape, that was that was dumb. It was kind of a last minute thing. When, with that silencer on there, there is a perceived difference in the loudness. So we're over three decibels there. It would be cool maybe to make a really long silencer or go electric. 